your your debut record did really well. Mm. So what what did that feel like? Because it was the first time when you when you went on a path of your own in the Yeah. In the well it was fantastic. I mean, I was working pretty hard for about three years. You know, people say it takes mm -hmm. ten years to become an overnight success, that thing. But you know, I was I was working really hard and it felt fantastic. Like I really I was really proud to have that success and I was really happy to receive it but by the time I mean what is success right mm -hmm. it's like is it the award ceremony is it the when it goes to number one is it that like when is the moment that you go aha here I like you look in the mirror and go yeah you know like it that doesn't exist right you only sort of slowly realize it like a year later and go oh that was huh mm -hmm. But you know, all I really remember from that year is just how tired I was. Okay. But um, th th does that affect the music? All those things that 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 all of a sudden are around you, like those award shows. Does that affect the music that you write? Well, by the time you get success, the music's already written. Well, but before the next next. Uh, oh yeah, project. yeah, totally. It I mean, everything you everything you input affects how you output. You mm. know and. I mean, yeah, like, uh, right after that record, I wrote a really, really dark okay. mini album called Insomnia, um, which is a really, really dark mini album called Insomnia, you know. But, but, but how come then it was so dark? Because you came off a period of, of quote-unquote success. Well, because, you know, um, I think that when you're young, girl, or when I was younger, I hadn't quite worked out how not to cannibalize myself in order to serve the music or mm. my career, you know? And I really cannibalized myself, like, you know, it took a great physical toll on me and I hadn't learned how to say no okay. either. So I would just be like, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, I'll do all this stuff. And then I was just, you know. Mm. Um, and I, I also think that I hadn't really learnt how to enjoy, okay. you know, how to really enjoy moments and go, this is amazing, right? I was always like, what if I get it wrong? You know what I mean? So a lot of pressure in, this, in a way. Yeah, probably a lot of itself. Okay. Um, but I, I really, yeah, I don't think I'd sort of learnt how to be happy yet. Hmm. Um, is, is there a point then uh, that, that you figured it out? The, the yeah, it was about couple. eight months ago. Okay. <laughs> um, I think, you know, I think that as you, I mean, you don't, I don't know about you, but I, I'm sure that you don't think the same way about things as you did when you no, were 23, okay, you know? Enough. You just, you just worry that you're doing it wrong or that you're doing it right or that you're going to, I don't know, I was just mm. so rigid um, and, you know, I, I loved, I mean, I loved that record and I loved making it, but I didn't really know how to enjoy it. Okay. And, and so uh, when There There came around, uh, were you able to enjoy the process more? Yeah, I certainly was. Um, it, you know, There There was such a cathartic record to mm -hmm. write and to make and it was such a, it was such a, a great feeling to how t t to make something that talked, all the songs talk to each other, you mm -hmm. know, they all belong in the same, like a fashion collection, they're right. all from the same thing, you know. Um, and I really, I just, it felt like a complete, it was very healing for me to write that record and um, as part of the process, you know, I, I actually was very conscious that you know, it had been three or four years since they're there and all that stuff, and I wanted to really r remember to mm. enjoy, which I am enjoying this even. Okay. All right. But I, I read somewhere, and so I, I never know if this is true, but uh, that you said about those songs that they were the songs that you were afraid to write. So what changed? What what made you face your fears in a sense? Um. I'm not sure that it was entirely facing my fears, 
but something more along the lines of recognizing what authenticity can mm. do. Mm. Um, I mean, most, I think that there's never been a song written that's entirely honest, right? Because you always embroider things to right. make them ma matter to you, right? If I'm writing, I want you to care as well, so I'm going to make it a bit different. But I definitely, um, I definitely just realized that the feeling of just writing a song that doesn't flatter myself. Mm -hmm is not it's not a terrible it's not a terrible idea you know and it just felt right to do that it just felt right to was it difficult yeah it was really difficult and it really wasn't until i wrote marry me okay. which was the first one of that whole album that came mm -hmm. but even marry me like i it took me three weeks okay. to write that song because i had the verses and the the pre but I couldn't write the chorus because I didn't know what to say about that, you know. Um, and I tried a bunch of different things and in the end, the, the, like, the truth is not it was good or it was bad or you were right or you were wrong or I mm -hmm. was, but it was just, I remember that. Right. Just, I remember it and that's, and all the good stuff and all the, like, I remember and mm -hmm. that's all. You know? And, and was that, is, is that the same case with the rest of the songs, that it's kind of acknowledging that something happened or that... Right, yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of the songs, you know, um, a lot of the songs, like all of the songs are very... I want to say that the time that I was writing this record was kind of the beginning of what became about 18 months of, like, healing. And mm. I think that the whole record is... I mean, even, you know, the title is a consolation. Mm. And I feel like it's as much a consolation for myself as it is for, uh, you know, the people that the songs are about, mm. um, if they ever hear them. But do, do you know if they have heard them? No. Because, the, 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 well, the, the, a lot of the songs deal with a relationship. Is it, is it, uh, is it multiple people? Or yeah, it's okay. a lot of it's like multiple people. Okay. Um, but the whole album sort of, you know, it deals with loss mm. um, and losing and turning and changing and letting go of things, um, which I never thought I would write a record like that, but here we have it. When you perform these songs now, then do you, does it take you back to, the, to those emotions? Or no, okay. I feel like once a song is written, certainly once it's recorded, it gets like vacuum sealed, like a piece of fish, you know what I mean? Mm. And then it's just, it's just a piece of repertoire. Okay. It's okay. So then you're like, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. And uh, finally then, uh, th this uh, album was released in Australia, I believe in September of last year. Yeah. Have you started writing or is your mind already with the next thing? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's always hard, you know, you're, you know what it's like in the music industry, everything's three months out, mm. everything's three months late, you know, so, um, yeah, I mean, I've started writing, I started writing last September, Okay. okay <laughs> the minute it was out, I was like, right, new record, let's go, um, because given how long it took me to write the last one, I really didn't want to repeat, you know, mm. one album every four years is a terrible business model, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have started. And is there any sense of direction already or the, about the certain mood that you're writing in? Yeah, or? it's a bit sexy. Okay. Yeah. Which, again, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really know yet. But yeah, it's a bit sort of, the word I think is, yeah, like sexy. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.